Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Special Edition, there's a new and aggressive presence in the emergency airframe parachute industry. Also, Aviation Safety Resources is building the next generation of airframe recovery parachute system, and a new line of light aircraft parachutes will be lighter, more compact, and more cost-effective. Welcome to the special edition of Airborne. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. ANN's editor and chief Jim Campbell has an interesting background as a test pilot, but one of the most exciting programs he was part of was flying and testing the first early generation of emergency airframe parachute systems on several different Cessnas while working with two separate development programs. The technology has progressed so much since then, but the next generation of airframe recovery parachute systems is undergoing preparation for the civilian market and beyond promising better, lighter materials, small sizes, and lower costs. Our editor-in-chief, Jim Campbell, interviewed Aviation Safety Resources CEO and President Larry Williams to get the inside scoop on what we'll be seeing from ASR in the very near future. One of the things that we wanted to talk about today was your offerings in the sport aviation arena, which desperately need some new blood and new ideas. What do you got for us? So we set out with a goal to be 20% lighter because everybody wants the weight reduction. We wanted to have up to 40% less volume or space that it takes up on your airplane and about a 10% lower cost. So we were going to accomplish these things, giving you lower volume, lower weight, and do so by actually lowering the cost. Because my personal view, having spent the first half of my career in the uh, aircraft rescue and firefighting business and dealing with plane crashes, you know, it's my heartfelt goal that I want to see more people have this technology available. It's proven. It absolutely works. 500 lives have been saved worldwide with this technology. So we need to do that. We need to make that happen. This is particularly apropos here because, as you know, I'm one of the saves. Yeah. Um, in an experimental vehicle we were working with. And then on top of that, I was one of the test pilots on two different variants of the Cessna recovery system, even going back to the late Jim Hanbury and uh, working with, boy, a Cessna 150 that looked like it fought three or four world wars and lost every single one of them. Um, I've been under that canopy over a dozen times. And uh, in addition to being a sport parachutist with several thousand jumps, Nobody has to sell me on the technology. I believe in it. Uh, I'm here because of it. New materials, new approaches. When might we see these products take to the market? And how are you targeting the sport and general aviation market? So we've spent the last about 18, 19 months perfecting the design, if you will. That is We've literally gone through every square inch of the product, making sure that we've taken weight out complexity, other things. So that was our first step and we completed that. Now we're in the latter, the very latter stages of testing. As you know, we've been out uh, drop testing our canopies here uh, in December and January. In fact, I'm gonna be going back and doing more drop testing next week of these canopies. And in fact, some of the sport canopies that we're looking at, uh, my anticipation is, is by the end of next week, those canopies will be completely certified and done. Oh, wow. we've, we've had successful test drops and we could say, okay, we're ready now. But frankly, every time we drop them, we find something that we think we can improve. And so I'm committed to make sure that we don't get that product out there until frankly, the improvements that we've noticed and the things that we can do are implemented into that program so that if a customer comes to us, buys one of our systems, they're getting the latest, the greatest, the best technology that's available today. And hey, Jim, we've learned a lot with what we're doing on the VTOL side of things, where we're trying to recover a vehicle with no forward speed. All of a sudden that translates over to, I don't wanna say a stale product line that's been out there a long time, but certainly there's room for improvement for what's been out there for a long time. So the truth of the matter is we have orders in-house now. We plan on delivering by the end of this month wow. with those orders. We're ready to go. 
we're going to be at Sun and Fun here in a few weeks, like everybody else, hopefully. After the break, Larry and Jim discuss new technologies and how ASR's commitment to innovation is making them work even harder. Aviation's number one safety equipment manufacturer. New ELTs and safety products that activate life-saving rescues across the world. ELTs and safety products for every type of aircraft. General aviation, business jet, rotorcraft, commercial aircraft. Easy installation, affordable pricing, safety and reliability. Visit www.artex.com to view our selection of ELTs and safety products today. Artex, your best last chance. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Welcome back. Larry and Jim discuss new technologies that will be incorporated in the coming generation of ASR parachute systems. How do you show everybody that the so-called new kid on the block is the best kid on the block? Well, you know, the weight, the volume, the pricing, those are just numbers. You can, I mean, we can put it on a scale and show you what, what those numbers come out to. Here's what we've really got to overcome, in my opinion, is when you're facing a competitor that's been out there 30 and 40 years, the question becomes, why would I go with someone that's that's not got that those years of experience? And I, you know, I used to have this old saying in the fire service, there's a difference between 20 years of experience and one year of experience 20 times. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is that you just need to look at the technology. When you see what we've got and what we've done, it's completely different. It's not aluminum. Uh, it's, it's styled quite differently in terms of just the way that it looks and ultimately the way that it performs. So I think the proof is going to be in the fact of saying, um, am I going to go up to that next level? I mean, look at all the technological advancements that are occurring in society today, that next generation. We're, we're the more modern uh, more focused, more uh, appropriate solution for today's challenges as compared to just doing the same thing that's been done for 30 years. Where do you go from here? So where we go from here is I want to continue to look at applications going up in weight and size. It's my view that you wouldn't build a new airplane today without putting a recovery system on board. It's it's just like airbags in cars. You wouldn't go out and buy a new car today if it didn't have the safety technology, which is the airbag on board. So we're focused on those platforms. We're, we're also looking at, and we've devised some new techniques from a testing standpoint to really reduce the cost of getting our product on airplanes that are out there. So there are two primary markets here, new build, which, who knows how that's going to go over the next you know, couple of years as we recover from the pandemic. And then the existing modifications that can be done to product that's out there in the field now. And what we've got to look at is, is where's a real platform where those things make sense. And we've also got to simplify the certification process. I think even the FAA would probably be willing to admit that we need to streamline the way we put these things on airplanes because we want that technology there because it works. It, it just simply works. And if you make it so expensive to get it qualified to where you can't sell enough of them to recover that investment, it goes nowhere. Yeah. So we really worked on how to reduce that upfront cost. And, and we've come up with some things and we've been doing some testing and some analysis 
some patents and other things that are out there that's really going to help revolutionize the way that we do what we're doing. After these messages, ASR may have some surprises in store for us at Sun and Fun 2021. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training, and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com. Welcome back. Jim finishes his interview with Larry and gets a few more details about new products and some of the other futuristic markets ASR may be seen in very, very soon. Are you targeting any designs specifically and how will an erstwhile manufacturer be able to work with you to make sure that uh, an installation uh, in their vehicles uh, goes along swimmingly? Well, good question. Not we. So I'm going to go back to normally we would say Oshkosh last year, right? EAA last year. But mm -hmm. so we have to say EAA last time yes. that, that they had one. We walked away from that show with six OEMs that said, okay, we're interested in putting your product on for various reasons. And so we've been working with some of those OEMs. And in fact, we're going to have some announcements that are coming out probably around the sun and front time frame, but you probably know because we've announced programs with Sky 6, we announced some programs with uh, Bi Aerospace where we're gonna be on the Sunflyer or the E-Flyer 2 rather. Um, and we've got, we just announced Grub Group and a few others that are coming that are out there, including one that's gonna be an STC type of product. It's actually gonna be a modification to a type certificate on a, a very popular airplane that people will recognize when, we, when we're ready to make that announcement. So we've got a number of clients that are still wanting to kind of keep the curtain up a little bit, yep. but stay tuned. We're gonna be making uh, fairly aggressive announcements mainly between now and Sun and Fun, and then also between Sun and Fun and, and EAA, you'll see a lot of exciting news. I, we're busy, man. We're, <laughs> we're really, really busy here. We're going to be at Sun and Fun here in a few weeks, like everybody else, hopefully. And uh, our plan is, is to sell a good number of those units directly to people that are interested in what we're doing. Because we've got a lot of interest in our product and we really haven't been out there pushing just yet, but we're going to, I promise you. Larry Williams, President and CEO of Aviation Safety Resources. We appreciate you spending time on Airborne and with Aero News. We're looking forward to seeing this new generation of products out there, and especially since I'll be airplane shopping later part of this year. And we'll definitely have to give you a call because no one has to impress upon me the value of a parachute, says the survivor. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. But uh, Less expensive, less packed volume, lighter. <laughs> Send it my way, buddy. Well, we appreciate the Jim. We'll be happy to do that. Come see us at uh, Sun and Fun. We're, we're, we're ready for uh, the annual spring break of aviation that's going to occur in Lakeland in a few weeks. And it's going to be great to get back out and start seeing people. And boy, do we need a party. 
Thank you for joining us for this episode of Airborne Special Edition, an interview series designed to bring special attention to topics of critical importance to the aviation community. This show will be a regular part of Airborne programming in the future. Your suggestions for interview topics are always welcome, and feel free to comment on our social media pages. Thanks for watching.